Richtig. And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, but I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said All right, hello everyone. Uh, so, victory round two of the Meerkats BSB Championship for Xbox. Now, let's just try and get some people in the lobby. It's quite awkward because my Xbox is in a different room. So, Bear with me while I get things going. Uh, damn it. Uh, hard work with the Xbox being in a different room. All right, invited Jimbo. Keefe told me he wasn't coming, but he seems to be online. Uh, Stevie said he can't. I don't know why. Can't remember who else said they weren't coming. A lot of people decided they weren't coming this week. Uh, didn't tell me till today. Uh, Amber Nickel, 
Lloyd. Bugs me, these people that set themselves offline. Oh, I don't want join, do I? I don't know if they're on or not. Oh no, Ducati fan said he wasn't coming on either. So we haven't got many people today. But it is what it is. I'm not going to keep postponing it because people can't turn up. They knew what time and day it was. Not sure if that's everyone. I think it is. I feel like I'm missing some people, but... I can't remember who I invited now. Uh, that's not too bad, Griff, mate, yourself. Just chilling. I'm waiting to get this out of the way so I can go do something else myself. <laughs> oh. I think I invited everyone who said they're coming. I'm not sure now. Polar said he weren't coming. This is so awkward with my Xbox being in the other room. Mason should be. Yeah, that's what I thought. I did invite him. I don't know whether he's coming on or not now. Uh, Luke Sparky needs another invite, I think. Marcy. Who, who invited Marcy? Well, hopefully Trojan should be on in a couple of minutes. But if he isn't here by quarter past, I'll start qualifying. He should be on for the, the race then, at least. Can't hold it off all night. Well, Keithy's here. Didn't think Keithy was coming. And Lola Boz is here as well. Um, maybe we've got a few more people than we thought. I don't even know who Marcy is, to be honest. <laughs> but he can race if he wants, I suppose. There's space. Mason, yeah, I'll check the another invite, man. Uh... Sorted. No, Trojan just messaged me saying he should be on in a minute. So, I, don't, I wish I could get a commentator for this, because I hate commentating, but... <laughs> it's not the easiest to get a commentator for it. Not while it's live, anyway. <laughs> so... Anyway, while we're waiting, we have, obviously, this is the current round, 10 laps for the RM600s and 15 laps for the RM1000s. And after last week, is your standings so far. Trojan in first, Luke Sparky in second. Jimbo in third. We're using the BSB point system that they're using this year, so it's, everything's going to be pretty close. There's your thousands. Results from last week. 
So at the moment, Trojan is winning on both. I think Trojan's pretty strong here on the 600s as well. I don't know about the 1000s. So we'll have to see. Mason's in. Clutch don't lie. Who's, who's clutch don't lie? <laughs> Who are these people joining my lobbies? I don't know how they are. It's the private. Evening, Bert. Right. Uh, I'll chuck Trojan another invite. He said he'd be like a few minutes. I'll go to the next screen anyway. You'll still be able to join. Clutch was Trojan's mate from last week. Now, nah, last week we had a uh, smooth, smooth T op, no optic T smooth, the one. Let everyone choose their bikes and whatnot. Still one of his mates, so yeah, he can race. I ain't got a problem with it. I'm just wondering how these people are getting in. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not a big deal as long as they're not causing issues. I'll give it a minute or two before I'll have to just start the qualifying without Trojan. Hopefully he'll make it in. So, I don't know who my money's on for today. So I think Trojan will be strong here on the 600s from what I've seen of him before. Bozza used to be fast, but I don't think he plays much anymore. So we'll have to wait and see what he can produce. I haven't seen him race on Ride 4 in a long time. All right, Chuck Trojan, one more invite, and I'm going to have to ready it. I'm going to have to start it. Oh, I think Keefy. I'm not sure if Keefy wants to change bike. Right, everyone's in. 
we can get this qualifying on the way. Yeah, we were going to do it so it's like everyone's on set bikes, but I think after the first week of problems, we sort of gave up with that. So everyone can go and go on, to go on what they want. As long as everyone's not on the same bike, I'm not too fussed. All right, so qualifying, tyre wear's off, collisions is off, four laps to uh, set their fastest lap. All right, well, River Mars, Marcy and Clutch don't lie. I'm just hoping they uh, kind of know what's going on. All right, everyone's got their tyres and setups. Let's go. Let's get the qualifying on the way. Mm -hmm. weird because I've got no sound on my PC when I'm streaming it off my Xbox. But kind of got to make do with what I can do from here. I have a feeling the time is locked to two o'clock. I think I'll have to change that when it comes to the race. So the time actually moves. Well, so far Marcy's out in front. A possible wild card, as I have no idea who he is. <laughs> Oh, there goes Trojan, I think that was. So, the way it's looking at the minute, Marcy is going to be the first person to set the first lap, or at least start the first lap. Rather than where connection seems to be fine since got them to sort it out. Ain't seen no one lagging. Mm, like Bozza's livery. It's not very BSB, but. Definitely Modo 2. So we are a week behind because of the problems that were caused the first week. Should have been Snetterton this week and Donington last week, but Luke Sparky's found his way out in front. Actually quite hard to keep concentrating on this when you can't hear it. So, what's Luke Sparky going to set across the line on 26? Everyone's too close together, I'm not going to see what they're all getting. <laughs> 30, 27. So, all oh, Bozza's in with the 26 as well. So I think... I can't remember what Spark Luke Sparky's time was across the line, but they're close. 
I think Bozo had it though. For now. I think the problem everyone's going to be having at the minute is they're all going to be getting caught in each other's slipstream with the uh, collisions off. So Luke Sparky's looking strong here today. He looked strong in uh, Alt when he got met with a few, few mishaps. Have I turned my Elgato sound on again? Yeah, I have. Right, cool. Had to make sure. I forgot to turn it on for the first race last week. So, is Luke going to set now? Twenty-six six. I'm not getting to see anyone's times. 27 for Keithy. Nova. Tried to get Nova to compete in the championship, but he didn't want to compete unless I was racing. <laughs> Told him that will not be possible if I want to stream it. Ooh, Trojan over the grass a bit there. I think he might have got a penalty there. So from what I've seen so far, I think Bozza is the fastest on track right now. We may be well behind, but... So here comes Luke Sparky for his... Last flying lap. What's he going to get? 26-3? 26-7? It's going to be close between a few people then. I can't remember what times we were setting when we did this last week. I think it was either 25s, it might have been 24s. So. Picture of the times. So I know where to set everybody. Just took a picture of my keyboard. Oh, Trojan got 25-4. Didn't see that. This is going to be tough to try and... Uh, every, quite a few people in the 26s. It's going to be quite a good race, I reckon. Gonna take me a minute to try and work out where everybody's meant to be placed. I think it's Keefe in second. Lobby options. Ten laps. Tire wear on. Collisions on. Don't jinx it. Well, you know someone's going to crash all the time, but... It's looking like it could be a good... A good battle. So, right. Trojan. Then I believe it's Keefe. 
And then we have Luke Sparky. This is definitely going to take me a minute to uh, figure this all out. So we've got quite a few 26 fives. So, right, Lumber Nickel, I think, next. There's actually quite a lot of 26 fives here. Um... Five sixteen five four eight blue jimbo. Five So it's Griff, yeah, and then Bozza. I think that's everyone in the twenty sixes. And then we got who else? We got Marcy, Mason, and Clutch. Marcy, Clutch, and then Mason. Uh, there we go. That is the grid order. That was quite hard to work out because there was quite a few close times. So I'll wait for everyone to ready up. And we can get race one going. So the time is set to move. I swear it said two o'clock the whole time on my screen, but. We're just waiting on Clutch and Mason. That clutch is readied up. It's Mason now. The Christmas lights are going. They're all waiting on Mason. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's let's do it. Yeah, it's looking like it could be a good race, I say. To wait and see what happens. I knew Trojan would be quite strong here. I'm wondering now what times we set last week. Because I honestly can't remember. Luke's saying in the chat that he don't know how Trojan did a 25. But I'm sure we were doing 25s last week. Won't know about having a quick look while everyone's selecting their tyres and stuff. Not me. All right, everyone's ready. Here we go. It's 
so Trojan on pole position. Can he get the dream start? Everyone's just got to remember that collisions is on. Someone's gone down. It's Griff. Oh, we've got a lot of contacts going on. Hard to keep track of it all, to be honest. Bozza's up into third. He's definitely on a different bike to what he was on a minute ago. <laughs> it's not a big deal, though. I'm not really not bothered. So we're getting a bit close through there. Oh, this is going to be tight. They've all made it through, though. I thought someone was coming off then. This is definitely going to be hard to try and keep track of everything on this one. Especially while everyone's so close at the moment. Keefe is right on the tail of Trojan, though. So I kind of got to see what happens here. Oh, Trojan's wide. Let's just allow Keefe through. Oh, Keefe's tight. Oh. He's, he's still on, but... That's costed him. Definitely got him a penalty. How much, I'm not sure. He did cut a lot of the track, but... So that's allowed Trojan to... open his legs a bit and get away. Oh, Keefe's out wide again. Connection is definitely looking a lot better than the first week. I'm hoping it's all good on their end. Oh, what's happened? Keefe. I missed something. Keefe may have gone into the back of Bozza or something, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, someone changed the bike after the qualifying laps. I'm not bothered. I didn't even know Bozza was coming. I did ask him a few weeks ago if he wanted to compete and he said he hadn't played in so long that he wasn't going to bother. So... I'm not bothered what bikes are all on, as long as not everyone's on the same bike. But I am seeing a lot of Triumphs, a lot of MVs and a lot of Kawasaki's. And it is what it is. It's hard to try and keep track and all that, especially on Xbox. A few of them have got Discord, but... It is hard to uh, arrange things. What well, Mason it was his boyfriend. He's... He's quite far back at the moment. I'm not sure what's happened to him. I've been keeping an eye on everything at the front. Trojan has split away from everyone now. Boz is on a good lap. Keefe's got all the work to do again. As long as he stays consistent, he should possibly get himself up a few more positions. And it looks like Boz has closed in the gap a tiny bit on Trojan. He may not have played in a while, but he hasn't lost it too much by the looks of it. Boz used to be quick.
probably still is quick to be honest but yeah he's out of practice Luke Spark is in third Lumber Nichols having a good race to be fair I look to be this far back he may have crashed I'm not sure oh Boz has gone down going to get Spark, oh Luke Sparky and number nickel right on him now oh this is going to get tight oh number nickel managed to save that oh he was coming off then As long as them two keep fighting, Lumber Nickel could get himself back in there with them. Got anyone else close at the moment? It's kind of spread out again. Oh, what's happened to Keefy? I'm not sure what's happened to Keefy. He was right in there with everyone a minute ago he's half a lap nearly a whole lap down now bit fuzzy what's that my microphone or the or the picture but uh, Oh, Buzz is, Buzz is backed out. It's doing good as well. Picture. Hmm, it should be alright. I don't really know why it would be fuzzy. Not sure on that one. I thought I see someone sat still. Trojan, ten seconds out in front now. I think I must have missed something with Luke. I'm sure he was five seconds behind a lap ago or two. So, a second and a half, a second and a bit, just a gap to, oh, everyone's back in hell now. Well, we were at ten, down to seven. Trojan doing 25 race pace. Not bad. Feel like everyone else is going to be sort of sitting 26s. 26 ish. No, uh, Griff's on the back of Lumber Nickel. I think, yeah, I think that's the only sort of battle we have going on right now. Well, everyone else is sort of too spread out. Oh, Mason's gone down, I believe. See a yellow, yellow dot. Go on board with Griff for a minute. Yeah, 
No Griff. Griff's a good racer. I don't think he'll do anything like a silly move to get through. It'll be tight going into here though. They're still on the back of Luke Sparky. He's letting Lumber Nickel just break that bit later so he can try to go under him, but it's just not managing to pull it off yet. These two having a bit of a... not battle as such, but... Trying to get through on one another. It's allowing Jimbo to catch up. Still kind of with Luke, but Luke has managed to pull away a bit. Yeah, Jimbo's 0.8 behind him now. They either need to try and pull away from him or... Griff needs to get through and pull away a bit. Or Lumbernickel needs to pull away and stop and fight him. Oh, bit of contact. Jimbo's about to be in on the fight now. I can't remember if Lumber Nickel had a good position last week or not. I think he did at one point. I think he may have lost it. He was doing good last week, though. He's still holding on to third. He wants it. But so do these two. I want to go back to the front and see Trojan. He's been putting in a hell of a race. I haven't really seen him. He hasn't been near anybody. Oh, Jimbo went for it. He may have pulled it off. Oh, not quite. He didn't quite get the drive he wanted. Oh, Griff's gone down. Lost the front into the last hairpin. So Trojan. He's going to go back to back. He won last week in the thousands and the six hundreds. Can he do the same again today? It's looking like he will get the six hundred win at least. 12 second lead, he'd need to really mess it up now. Jimbo is on the back of Lumber Nickel. I think Mason has just gone down again. I'm not sure that Mason's going to finish the race. He's too far behind, I think. Depending if Trojan lets him. There's a bit of a wheelie or something. Slows the pace down. Oh, Jimbo up the inside. That was a good move, to be fair. And Lumbernick will fight back. I missed. I missed Trojan going over the line. Good race from Trojan. He probably did a wheelie over the line as well, and I missed it. So Pajimbo got into third in the end. Don't know why it didn't let anyone else finish them. Uh, screenshot. 
So, that was a good race. There's a few good battles in there. Trojan dominated it, but between a couple of the others, that was close. Very similar lap times. So, <clears throat> Trojan's gone back to back. Mason is backing out to go and change his livery or something for his Ducati. So, that was a good race. I don't know if any of the people that were in here are coming back. I should think Jimbo's probably going to change his suit and stuff like that. And I don't know if uh, Keithy's still on. No, I think, I think they've just had enough. Didn't think Keithy was turning up today at all, to be honest, so... He rage quits. Yeah, possibly. I don't know what happened to Keefe. At one point he was right with everyone, then all of a sudden he was a half a lap behind, so... I don't know if his controller died or what. I don't know what happened there. To be honest. Uh, RM thousands, four laps, tyre off, collisions off. I uh, don't know if Mason's going to need an invite and in Jimbo. They could do. That's not the right chat. Uh, so Jimbo, why can't I invite him to the game? Uh, that's, I've had this before where I can't invite people. May have to restart the lobby to be able to invite. Yeah, it's annoying. You can't. Oh, I've had it a few times with my mates. Like, if they bloody lag out or something, can't invite them back and they can't join you. Bit irritating, but. I'm a bit gutted about Bozer and. Keefe leaving. Not sure what happened to Keefe, like I say. At one point he was with everyone, then all of a sudden he was half a lap back, so. Bozza was doing good. Well, it takes forever to connect to online access on Xbox. At least the lobbies work all right now, though. Yeah, they probably did rage quit or something, probably, but I'd say it's just unfortunate because they were doing, they were doing well. I mean, we don't want RM nakeds. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, we're off. Collision's off. Darlington. I was expecting more from Bozza. Now, I did ask him um, before I started all this whether he wanted to compete. And he said nah, because he hadn't played in so long. So, I wasn't sure what to expect to, from him when I see he joined the lobby, to be honest. I thought he could do either really well or not. It was 50-50. He was doing alright, though. Bozza used to be fast. Well, he still is, but... Like I say, he's out of practice, so... Uh, right. Get some people back in. Luke Sparky. Uh... Jimbo. So no one, there's no option here to like just invite everyone to the game. It's in the chat. Uh, so that was Lumber Nickel, so Mason. I think now who else we've got? Trojan. Raisin, you can't make it polar. Yeah, it's two you've missed out on now. Like I say, Keith, he would have been better just to stay in the lobby, to be honest. At least he would have got points. I can't really give him points for not being there at the finish. Uh, I think I invited everyone. The only person that's not in here is that Marcy. I don't know if he's going to want to join again. I haven't got him. Uh, I'll invite him. He may want to play, he may not. We'll see. Uh, thank God we've got EU lobbies now. I need to whip Mason to get some points. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing as well with uh, the BSB Championship points is there's not a lot in it in the first five races. So it's easy to sort of catch up. All right, um, have we got everything set up right? I think I have. Iron thousands. Four laps. Tire wear off. Collisions off. Right. Proceed, and everyone can choose their bikes and whatnot. Uh, how many are we down to now? Seven. Make some back at top for you. We'll have to see, won't we? I reckon it'll be Trojan again, possibly. It's going to be... I don't know who to call on the thousands, who's going to win, to be honest. I called the 600s. I did think Trojan would be far strong there. As for the thousands, I think it's going to be quite even between a few people. American is taking over BSB. He is on Xbox. <laughs> so far, the times on Xbox haven't quite competed with what we've been setting on PC, but... It's 
So just waiting on Lumber Nickel and Luke Sparky and we'll get this started. I think they're on the right bikes. I'm sure Luke was on the Kawasaki before. I think Lumber was on the uh, Yamaha, so. But Lumber Nickel, what was it? Fourth last race. It was a good one for him. Could have had third. It was. He was just starting to struggle to hold off Jimbo and Griff. There we go. Right, let's get the qualifying underway. I think Trojan just unreadied as I've readied up. So it's going to be a 15 lap race after the quali. Marcy's on the Ducati, like, what a surprise. Who doesn't want to go for the Ducati in this class? I'll have to message Marcy and see if he wants to join for a permanent position if he wants. And Bozza. All right, we go. Everyone selected their tyres. Let's get the qualifying going then. Marcy went down. Not that's not a big deal though. If anything, that's kind of a good thing for him. Gives him some clear track to try and set a lap for the second lap. Obviously, the second lap will be the first lap. As confusing as that sounds. No, Trojan's out in front. He's got the confidence from winning the last race. I'm going to be the first one to set the pace. I think Griff just went down. Or he went off the track, I'm not entirely sure. Cigarette while the uh, qualifying's going. No, I was going to say, what's Trojan going to set? But it doesn't matter. It's the first lap. Jimbo's got the HM plant Honda. I like it. Griff's is. I don't think it's a replica of anything, to be fair. I think that's just his homemade jobby. Lumber's got the Patter R1. Little. Got little levers. <clears throat> Mason's got the Oxford Ducati. So, Trojan is going to be the first one to settle up.
24 8 didn't see loot so so far Trojan is setting or has set the fastest lap from what I've seen in fact we'll go to Trojan we didn't didn't see much of him in the first race Fortunately, he was just not in any battles with anyone. Oh, he's gone down. I've jinxed him. Oh, my arm just cracked. Who's he just gone past Jimbo? Jimbo go down. So, what's, what's that? What lap's Luke going to six? I don't think I saw his lap on the first one. Who is this VR46 guy now? I think Luke and Griff just set the exact same lap time. I'm not entirely sure on that one. Yeah, it was. It was Jay. Commentator's curse. Didn't see nothing of him in the RM600 race. He dominated it, to be fair. Well, give him some camera time. In the qualifying, at least. Who is this VR46 guy? What? How do these people keep getting in my private lobbies? Must be friends with uh, someone I'm in the game. So, I don't know if Luke's on an improving lap or not. Some horrible ghosting going on in the picture. Don't know if that's just happening for me or what. It probably is happening on the stream as well. Uh, Luke is not going to improve his lap. Trojan 23. Well, oh, that's the fastest lap I've seen so far. The power of that Ducati. Better get me iPad ready so I can take a picture of the uh, results. <sighs> Make sure that pitch is clear enough to read. Yep. So, Trojan got into 23s. Twenty-four. Jimbo's in the twenty-fours as well. Got a few twenty-fives. So Trojan's going to be starting from pole position again. Can he do it back to back? I have no idea who this VR46 guy is. I'm going to have to message someone in the Discord and see how this guy is. Oh, knocked me mic. Alright, 15 laps. Tyler's on. Collisions is on. Can I kick players? 
can ban him. I don't know what ban means. Had a lot of randomers managing to get in the games today. Didn't mind in the 600s. There was a couple of people I'd heard of, but I'm not sure about who VR46 is. Mason's washed here, mate. <laughs> Okay, he's just messaged me. Oh, I hate writing on Xbox. Bear with me. This just takes forever. Right. who is VR46. Yeah, I'm not too sure. He's Luke's friend, apparently. Uh, I'll let him race. Gets, a, gets another rider in here, rather than just having seven people as well. Right, so we've got to set the order. Trojan. He's already in first, so... Uh, it's... Luke. And then Jimbo. Twenty five zero for Marcy. Okay, so he's already in the right spot. Twenty Five two for Griff. And it's Lumber Nickel. And then Mason VR forty six. No, VR forty six will be last Mason because he, he wasn't here for the qualifying. Right, there we go. Everyone's readied up, got their bikes. So here we go, we get the race two, round two, race two on the way. Let everyone choose their tyres. Almost accidentally hit go to track them. That would have been a mistake. Uh, 
Oh, you joined too late, Polar. You could have you could have raced in this one if you were here like a couple of minutes ago. As always, next week. I say you've missed two races now, so it's a lot of a lot of points to have missed out on, so This is a hard thing with having people from America joining at the same in our championship sort of thing. It's a time difference, quite hard to work around. But I think Trojan was probably one of the first people to want to do it. So I tried to work around what he could do. And then I we didn't do Saturdays and Sundays because Keefe wanted couldn't do them. Oh, here we go, Trojan pole position. Will he get the dream start again? No, Jimbo got the dream start. There's Marcy. Oh, he's, yeah. just got to remember everyone's got collisions back on. Oh, who was that out? Who was out? I saw someone out on the grass. Mason's gone down. It's quite close between everyone at this exact second. But that's to be expected. And we go 99 lap race apparently. Oh, that's... oh, don't know what happened to Luke Sparky, he's had a nightmare. So VR46 said he's a clean racer. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping that was nothing to do with him any of the crashes. Hard to keep an eye on everything that's going on at once. And here we go. Jimbo's pulled the move. It's going to be hard to keep in front of that Ducati though with the straight line speed of the thing. Yeah, look at that thing go. Marcy at the moment is doing it for the Brits though. Potentially a wild card, we'll have to see if he wants to race in the future. Oh, Mason's gone down again. He's having an absolute nightmare of a round so far. Everyone's still on. No, oh, has that let Trojan get the gap he needed? It's looking that way so far. Pulled the second gap on Jimbo. Griff was strong last week on the thousands, so we'll have to see what he can do today. The R46 must have come off. Jimbo's not giving up yet though, he's pulled back to second. Trojan must have made a mistake. Just seen yellow for somebody. Don't think anyone's actually come off, there must have just been some contact somewhere.
be an American 1 2 here. Oh, there's a mistake from both of them. Polar's joined to spectate. Oh, that was killer. Corrosion went in too deep and Jimbo followed him in. It messed them both up. Oh, Trojan up the inside. He went for it. What have we got going on back here? These two are pretty close as well. Lumber, Nickel and Sparky. And we have a couple of battles brewing. Jimbo has managed to pull out the pin a bit. Not sure what happened to Jimbo last week, but I know Jimbo is pretty strong. This could be a good fight between the two Americans. I don't think he's quite made the move stick. Jimbo just got that better drive. Got the wider line. It's the one problem with the Suzuki. It is so hard to get a good drive out of the hairpins. It, wheel, it tries to wheelie so much. It's the one thing I'm struggling with with it in, my, in the championship we're doing on PC. Mr. Suzuki struggles in the slow part so much. Everywhere else, it's not too bad. It's like a well-balanced bike other than that. Oh, he's going to get the drive on him. They both outbreak. He's oh no! I thought thought he'd outbroke himself then for a second. Jimbo's not going to give up yet, though. He wants it. It's a battle going on between Mason and VR46. Yeah, I'll wait until this battle spreads out a bit. It's the battle for first and second is going on quite but quite good at the minute. Yamaha versus Ducati. So he should catch him back up a bit on that straight, but had to keep I had to go back to the front there to see what's going on. So Marcy's gone down at some point. I did realise that last lap, but I was too engrossed in the battle that was happening. I did notice Luke had got up into third. Uh, as long as them two keep battling, it could put Luke in a good spot. Still nine laps to go. Four seconds is not impossible to pull back in four laps if they keep battling, but it looks like Trojan has pulled, pulled the gap again. As you can see, Jimbo's pulled out again a bit in that tighter part. 
I expected that. Oh, VR46 has gone down. I just noticed that Mason and him are not not that close on track anymore. Jimbo's four temps up on his best lap. They could both be on a good lap, to be fair. No, he has closed the gap in, actually. He was nearly a second behind. VR46 has gone down again. Just see the yellow hit marker. So it seems pretty even between Jimbo and Trojan right now. Oh, Trojan's gone wide. That's going to cost him big time. Oh, he's gone wide again. Jimbo back out in front. We've got a good battle going on at the minute for first and second, so... I'm going to have to stay with this one for now. Doesn't look like anyone else is too close. Maybe Griffin Lumbernickel. That might be the next battle happening. I'll just see a yellow hit marker again. Oh, I think it was VR46. I wasn't sure who it was. So Jimbo's just holding on to it at the moment. What have we got going on with Lumbernickel and Griff? About seven tenths of a second gap. I'll have to keep an eye on that one. dragged out that first gear. I'm not sure if that was just a bug. That's maybe what we were seeing, but maybe that wasn't what he was actually doing. So I'm going to have to slipstream, but take some... Oh, no! Slight contact. Luckily, they're both still on. It's allowed Luke to claw in some time, though. Luke's took two seconds out of him, nearly. Luke is not far behind. It's not over for Luke Sparky just yet. Griff got passed on Lumbar, I missed that. They're still both pretty close. Oh, Griff's gone down. Commentator's curse. No, oh, I apologise to Griff there. I gave him the commentator's curse.
We got him Mars, he's on the back of Griff now. That V4R is going to be hard to hold off. Especially when it comes to the straight lines. Luckily there's not too many straights here at Donington. Oh, we got some... Something's going on at the front. They're battling. Just see loads of yellow hit markers. They're really uh, allowing Luke to come getting close now. Luke just needs him to battle a bit more. Oh, Trojans. Oh, no. That was unfortunate, but that that may mean we might actually see our another race winner. Trojan has won all three of the races so far. Keefe did kind of win the first race technically, but I couldn't allow it that to be a first race with how the connection was the first week. That was just a bit beyond a joke. So technically Trojan has won all three of the races. Now, can Luke Sparky catch up to Jimbo? Now Jimbo hasn't got anyone to battle with. He may be able to just keep the gap. We've still got Griff and Marcy pretty close together. Hoping not to uh, give uh, Griff the commentator's curse again, but the R46 has gone down again. Hopefully he won't get in the way for everyone. Because Jimbo and Luke are coming up to him. I'll have to keep an eye on that, because if he doesn't move out of the way, I'll have to black flag him. can't even remember how to do it. I can't see it on my screen right now. Jim... Oh, Luke's pulled the gap into a second. So I think it's X. I'm just going to test this out. Yeah. X gives me the options to tell people stuff. Uh, hopefully Griff can hold off Marcy. He'll need that for his championship. He had good points last week in the thousands. Lumbernickel looks like he's on for another fourth place. Can't remember what he got last week in the thousands, but he had a fourth place in the first race today. So, good performance from Lumber Nickel. Oh, I think Luke's had a mistake or something like. No, he definitely has now. It's allowed Trojan back through. Not quite going to be enough to get Lumber Nickel back in the fight, though. Commentator's curse is real today. Start spectating someone say something, they fly off. Jimbo is catching up to. VR46. Can I tell him to move? 
And I know all I can see there is leave position. I don't know if there's any other options underneath that. He's not in his way just yet, but I'm hoping he won't get in the way at all. It's looking like Jimbo will win this race today. I don't want to give him the commentator's curse just yet, you know. But... It is looking likely. All he has to do is stay on the bike. He's got three second lead. Really got any other battles going on just yet. I think VR46 did give him the position. I think he did get out of the way for him, so good sportsmanship from VR46. Wild card for today. Nickel, the only people without a penalty. Oh, Trojan's gone down. I don't even think that VR46 had anything to do with that, not from what I saw. I think he was actually getting out of his way. So he's gifted Luke, Luke Sparky the... Trojan's gone down again. He's had an absolute nightmare. Lumbernickel might even come in for third. Gonna have to watch Jimbo go across the line, though. That Trojan's penalty may just give Lumbernickel the... Uh, third spot. We didn't see Luke cross the line, and I apologise for that. I had to see what was going on with these two. So, we won't know until the after the race what Trojan's penalty was. He could have gifted... Uh, Lumber Nickel third. And don't think we're going to see Mason finish. No, he's... Yeah, no, he's well too far back. I've just seen where he is. Oh, no, he didn't gift him third. So Jimbo's won today. He has knocked Trojan off of that top spot. Maybe not in the championship, but... That is the first race that Trojan has not won. That was a pretty good race from everyone. Some pretty close lap times between the top three as well. Half a second. Griff was in the 24s as well. So... I'll have to uh, update the uh, championship standings for next week. So far, I'd say it was a good race from everyone. Don't think there was any issues between people knocking each other off, as far as I'm aware. So, good race. Congrats to Jimbo. Congrats to Trojan. I had a good battle going on for a, 
quite a while to be fair. Really thought Lumber Nickel may have nicked third then. With uh, Trojan's penalty. Polar Zeus is readied up. <laughs> I'm not racing again. So, GG to the boys. Next week will be uh, Snetterton 300, my home track, so I'll be happy to sit here and commentate over that one. Got the double victory there the other day over Jack. That was something that will probably never happen again. So, <laughs> happy with that. But yeah, good two races. Few faces in here that I'd never seen before. Am I up for some races, Griff? Uh, I don't know if I can stream it. Because <laughs> my Xbox is in a totally different room to what I'm sitting in right now. It's like slightly delayed if, in, if when I'm sitting in here. Not very easy to race. And I've got no sound. Oh. So. So yeah, that will be the stream for today. We'll be back next week, like I say, Snetterton 300. Update all the championship standings and all that stuff. I think Trojan will still be winning, but I don't know, we'll have to find out. And here's the standings from first week. Trojan is definitely still winning the 600s. I'm not sure how it's all going to play out for everyone else. I haven't worked that one out yet. And Jimbo. Oh, so Jimbo and Trojan could be time for first. So that could be interesting. But yeah, right. GG to the boys. Good races. And, well, I'll be streaming probably at some point in the week, but I'll be back for the BSB Championship next week at some point. So see you all later. Ciao for now.